a lot of people think that the poor are poor because of their skin color or too many people on top are just hoarding the wealth and keeping it away from everyone and these things simply aren't true. I'm going to tell you three things that you have to do and these are super simple basic things that pretty much everyone's told to do. And if you do these three things you're going to reduce your chance of living in poverty to only 2%. In fact you'll have a 72% chance of making it into the middle class. So, you know, that's that's pretty good. But what are these three things? Let me go ahead and tell you. Let me go ahead and tell you. I'm gonna link to this post in the description below, so make sure to check that out. And if you're watching on Facebook, then make sure to check out my YouTube channel, The Awareness Revolution. I also have a podcast, video podcast, on YouTube and iTunes. And a website all by the same name, The Awareness Revolution. So check me out. I've got a private face group, book group. I've got a Facebook page. All that is The Awareness Revolution. But I'm going to link to that in the description below of YouTube video. And um, there's a bunch of t statistics here. But I want to just scroll to the bottom and get straight to the point and read this for you guys right now. This is a quote from Ron Haskins testifying before Congress in 2012. Young people can virtually assure that they and their families will avoid poverty if they follow three elementary rules for success. One, complete at least a high school education. Even I did that and I skipped a lot of school and goofed off. I was a bad kid. I worked myself through the school, but that's a different story for a different day. Two, work full time. Okay, well, anyone should want to work full time, really. I mean, um, if you're not working full time, then obviously you don't have any room to complain about living in poverty. Three, wait until the age of 21 and get married before having a baby. I know not uh, everyone plans to have a baby. A lot of times it happens on accident. You know, but um, that's really not too much to ask. 21 years old before you get uh, married and have a baby. And so what, what this... What this is getting at is basically if you don't work full time, hey, that's on you. You know, if you don't at least finish high school, hey, that's on you. Also, if you don't get married, that's on you. Um, I'm not even pro marriage, but hey, these are the statistics. These are the facts. This is the recipe for at least uh, the recipe for to rise up out, of, out of poverty. You know, recipe for middle class, which isn't much. And so the truth is, is poverty is more correlated to single parent households. And that's the thing that they don't want you to realize because they want to point at external problems. So the way the government can come in and try to fix those external problems. And the government has a job. They, they get a job to do. But the truth is, is we don't need the government to help people rise out of poverty. What we need is families, the family unit sticking together. And welfare, in fact, even though it's aimed at helping the poor, it doesn't help the poor. In fact, it traps them. I'm gonna do another video called The Welfare Trap that explains this in more detail. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and that way you can see future videos as well. But it traps people in the welfare because it incentivizes them to not be productive, to not work. Because once you start working, you lose the welfare benefits and you start getting taxed. Also, it 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 kind of um, steers people towards single parents because then they can. It's easier to get welfare benefits, and this disproportionately affects the poor because the rich, you know, why would someone leave their husband who's making $200,000 a year for welfare benefits? That's just too big of a difference. But if your husband isn't working, can't get a job or just has a minimum wage job, then welfare benefits will provide the same amount of benefits, but you don't have to deal with the man's headache. So, um, so it, that's why when you look at the single parent households, the black communities are uh, have a much higher percentage rate of single parent households and that is what is the primary cause of poverty. So if you want to fix poverty, especially amongst the poor, that's the way to action and the good news is that's something that you or they can actually change. That's something they have control. They don't have control over politics. They don't have control over the, the 1%. 
they do have control over their life. They get to choose when to have a kid. They get to choose whether they work. They get to choose high school. And they can teach their kids the same. You can choose your relationships. So this is empowering. And this is where we need to move the needle into things that we can change instead of arguing and complaining about things that we can't. I hope you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you in another one.